and book just fell on the floor. <laughs> Hi, welcome or welcome back to the Books Are Everywhere. So welcome to this impromptu daily day reading vlog, this or not, not even reading vlog, vlog. It's a trip to London vlog. It's already chaotic. Um, me and Courtney and Amy are going down to London today just for the day to do some book shopping and to have a little like bookshop tour. Um, this was something me and Courtney wanted to do over the next few weeks because we're going away together in a couple of weeks on a little like reading break. Um, so we wanted to go and see if we could find some books that like both of us wanted to read or maybe one of us have already got the, a book and the other one could buy so we like had some stuff that we could buddy read together while we're away which I'm very excited for. Um, so we're going down to London to do that and Amy's coming too, um, which will be really, really fun. We've got a lot of plans. We want to do like foils, Gaze the Word, Forbidden Planet, Waterstones Piccadilly, maybe even Daunt Books and Blackwells, which I've never been to before in London. So I'd be very, very excited by that. I've never been to Daunt Books and it is like one of the iconic ones. Um, so that would be cool. Also found out there's a Goldsboro on Master Square, which we didn't know. So that's cool. I think we're going to do a lot of those. Very excited. Um, I am driving down, so it's going to take like three hours-ish to get there. So it's probably going to be like a most of the day into the evening, drive back this evening um, kind of thing. But I thought I would vlog it for you guys. Take a lot of clips while we're down there. And then if I buy some books, which I probably will, um, show you what I bought. So yeah, a little bit of a a one day vlog haul video just to start off the haul I wanted to show you a couple of books I recently received from publishers and just give them a little like thank you and shout out as well so we'll do that now and we retrieve that book from the floor <laughs> so I do not know how to pronounce this word but I want to die and I, but I want to eat I'm not even gonna try because I feel like I'm gonna butcher it. I really need to look this up. Um, but this is a Korean, um, I think it's translated because it says Korea, the runaway Korean bestseller. It's a memoir about depression and anxiety, um, I believe, or maybe just depression. But I am very excited for this. I feel like it's gonna be quite emotional and um, sad and hard to read, kind of like Crying in H Mart was, but I really, really did love Crying in H Mart, and I've been seeing this one around, so when I had the opportunity to request a copy from the publishers, I jumped at it, and they did send me one, so thank you to Bloomsbury for sending me a copy of this one. I also received a proof copy of Nothing More to Tell by Karen M. McManus, this is from Penguin, thank you so much Penguin and Penguin Huddle, I have read all of Karen M. McManus's books so far. I've had the past few as proofs as well. So I really, really wanted to get this one as well. Very excited. I believe this one comes out in September. Yeah, 1st of September. Um, This is a YA thriller. She's like the queen of YA thrillers, I think. Um, So yeah, very excited to pick this one up. Seeing people at Yelk with them. Um, So yeah. I'm glad they've got one now. But yes, I thought I'd just kick the video off by doing that, but I'm gonna go now because holding my phone is making my arm hurt. Um, but the next clip you will see will be of London. Um, there'll be a like a big a big vlog clip in the middle. Um, I have loads of clips from London and then I will catch up with you when I get home. Bye. <laughs>
it's just gone 11 p.m. and I am home and we made it then back in the day which is uh, really good and the driving was like okay and the roads were clear and stuff so yeah we've made it back um and it's just gone 11 p.m. it's been a really nice day we visited quite a few bookshops we did foils gaze the word a little blackwells um that we found in like holborn um forbidden planet popped into goldsboro books which i never knew had an actual shop but it does we didn't buy anything I don't think i filmed in there because it was very quiet in there and very kind of like small um and quite fancy <laughs> and then we did waterstones piccadilly um and yeah then we went out to camden had some dinner and headed back I bought two books, um, which I'll talk about in a second, and I also bought myself an Animal Crossing backpack buddy, which I'm very excited for. Um, Courtney found these in Forbidden Planet and like called me over and was like, look at these. Um, so there's eight different ones you can get. There's um, Porter, Pelly, Sable, Timmy or Tommy, <laughs> Blathers, Isabel, KK and Nook. And I did open mine earlier and I got Isabel. <laughs> She's so cute. I was honestly happy with like most of these other than maybe like Tom Nook. Um, I was pretty happy so yeah. Glad I found that. Um, and the books I bought, I bought Hooky from Forbidden Planet um, and this one I actually saw back in, oh, I don't know when it was, March when I last went to Forbidden Planet in London and I didn't get it then. It's very like Kiki's Delivery Service-esque. It's about these two witches who are 12 years old and attending magic school for the first time and they miss the bus and then they end up going through the land to um, get to the school and I think they end up um, have a mishap with a dragon egg, a broken broom and a high profile prisoner and their faces end up on wanted posters throughout the country. Very excited for this one. It's a graphic novel that was published from a webtoon. Um, yeah, this one just looks really cute and I saw it again today and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna get it. And I also bought something from Gaze the Word. I bought another graphic novel which is Princess Princess Ever After by K. O'Neill. This is the same author as the Tea Dragon um, Society and Aquarian Cove, which I haven't read, but I've read the Tea Dragon Society and I love it. It's so cute, really, really cute. Um, I'm honestly not 100% sure what this is about, but I love the Tea Dragon Society so much that I decided to pick it up. It's a very short graphic novel, so yeah, I bought two graphic novels today. Um, and this is following Sadie and um, Amira who are two very different princesses with very different strengths on their journey to figure out what happily ever after really means and how they can find it with each other. Um, very very cute. I love the idea of this and yeah I just knew I wanted to read it. It has a dragon I think. Um, so yeah I knew I wanted to pick that one up. So yeah, that's what I bought from London. Just two graphic novels um, and a backpack buddy which I'm very happy with. So yeah, it felt like it was a very successful day, we had a lovely time, um, and it was, yeah, all good. I hope you guys enjoyed the clips, and I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog too, and I will see you next time in another video. Bye.